Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got some things special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the Sixty Touch It. All right, uh, number six, there's nothing better than a cat's love, but sometimes earning your feline's affection can be a difficult task. And guess what? It's not the cat, it's you. According to cat scientists in Paris, which is where all the, the best <laughs> cat scientists are, you need to call your cat's name and extend your hand. And you need to do them both together. That's how to get them to come to you. Uh, but here's where the study got weird. When researchers ignored the animals completely, that's when they were most likely to wag their tails. So basically, nobody knows. Uh, mm -hmm. And good luck. You really oh, are rolling great. the dice every yeah. time you get a cat. You know? yeah. never know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. All right, number five. A stretchy work pants are becoming a favorite at the office. Check these out from luxury brand High Sport. It's comfort meets classic, chic meets cozy. They're structured trousers with just the right amount of spandex so they stretch right along with you. They've got a huge following thanks to the talk and the gram. People are waiting several months for these pants despite the hefty price tag. Jackets and tops are also designed with a half Lycra blend. A pair of high sport pants will cost you $860. Come on now. Is that the brand is High Sport? Is that? Um, I've seen knockoffs know. of these, the kind that look like dress pants, but they're stretchy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to put half down as a deposit to ensure that you're interested wow. with this brand. Uh. I'm sure, as our writer, Emery Saviano, yeah. will tell you, you can find knockoffs of these yeah. online. That'll work just as well. And number four, what's on your bucket list? Uh, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is this. The term bucket list didn't exist before 1999. Most people think it's been around forever. It wasn't a thing until screenwriter Justin Zachman came up with it. He called it Justin's list of things to do before I kick the bucket. His movie, The Bucket List, based on that list, came out in 2007. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Right, no number three, nothing said style and sophistication of the 70s like dog-eared collars. Yeah. You guys are gonna have to explain. Like Look at this. That. Long, flared uh, polyester pants, long collars. The bigger the collar, the foxier the man. Yeah. The wider the pant leg, the sexier it got. Women had similar options, but the men really had to sell the look back yeah. then. Look, Look at, at that. those collars. Well, what are we rushing off that I, for? <laughs> Maybe it was just too much sexy. It's too much for the ladies. Yeah. All right, number two, here's something that's a totes game changer for grilling season. Uh, try using some rolling baskets. They're made of mesh wiring and cylinder shaped, so all you gotta do is uh, roll them over instead of flipping. Well, look at that. Huh? That's Meat, kind of a good idea. Yeah. You get no sear that way. Meat, vegetables, potatoes, we found these online for around 39 bucks. Just Google them. Uh, there are lots of options. Huh. All right, number one, something to think about. Are you willing to tip at self-checkout? It's not required, obviously, but more often it's coming up at those self-checkout machines you find at airport, airport kiosks, stadiums, and cafes. Some folks are willing to pay a few extra bucks, but they want to know where their money is going. If you pick out your own items and ring them up yourself, who is getting the tip? Companies say that extra cash goes to the workers who are doing things like stocking shelves or preparing food. But it's a dilemma. Some customers say it's not their job to pay the workers. It's the company's job to do that. Is tipping out of control? And then you, you feel guilty if you hit the no tip, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Well, I don't feel guilty at the self-checkout at the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not just there. It's, I know. You know. I think it's like a standard thing that comes up in the computer. So. Yeah. I think they should phrase it differently because yeah. when that little message comes up and it says, would you like to leave a tip? No, nobody wants to leave a tip <laughs> in that situation. None of us do, but we're all doing it out of guilt, right? Nobody wants it. Yeah. It's a dilemma. Mm.